Hi everybody. This is If Yarn Could Talk with Vicky and Asia. Hello. And, and Mooney, of course. Oh. oh. Feisty Mooney. He says high five. And Chloe. But, once again, you know, once Mooney again, is blocking her. In Mooney's orbit. Ah! Orbit. <laughs> ha. Ha. He's a little bit of an upstager. Isn't it crazy that I can't ever figure out what yarns are going to say, but I just like said that and I just like <laughs> didn't even realize. <laughs> Also, sorry we forget sometimes to talk about the actual, um, you know... What the yarns would say. Yeah. We put it on our list officially, because, yeah, sometimes we, like, space out at the end. Just a touch. I'm sure that never happens to you guys. No. <laughs> no. no never. We're all completely focused on the task at hand at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what are you working on today, Asia? Um, I'm gonna try out some sort of patchwork um granny square thing um but i'm just starting you know for now with a regular square, square. Mm -hmm. cool so i don't have to pay attention once again to a pattern it's a good color right it's just some stuff it's purple it's purple it's like dark purple it's kind of like something that you have i believe yes i do for later for later. So that's your oh, teaser. Sneak peek. <laughs> I'm working on something. Look, gray. Can you guys imagine? But this is reclaimed cashmere. This is our reclaimed cashmere. So even though it's gray, it's still a delight to work on. And I've been working on this scarf on and off for a long time because it's exceptionally boring and mindless, which I meant it to be. It's meant to be one of those sort of like keep in your car so when you're waiting to pick up your kids or when you have to go to the doctor's office and you're waiting it's just like one of those projects that you could just sort of keep around and pick up and do whenever whenever you have a couple minutes and that's what I've been doing with it always a good thing to do yeah so it'll 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 be released at some point it's just you know I also do like it though because it could be totally unisex you know you could make this for a guy you could make this for a woman just so that's nice because I make a lot of things that uh, though they're not super frilly they're pretty girly they're pretty girly I don't really do much for men sorry dudes mm. I just don't but this one could be so there we go there you go <laughs> yeah Chloe is purring her face off yes she is and I'm just realizing that if I'm doing a granny square thing then maybe I shouldn't um, be making the filler before I know how big the granny square is going to be. Chloe has arrived. Go ahead, Chloe. Say, oh, where are those squishy mm. things I was sitting on last week? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well. Here's one. It's a very uh, tiny one. There you go. No? How about this one? <laughs> Just, here, how about that one? <laughs> She's like, all too small, Mom. All too small. Is angry now. Is grumpy. Uh, how about this one? How about this one? <laughs> These are just little swatches. Here, how about this one? This one's pretty big. No, just need love. Just need love just and need purr. Love now, Mooney's um, gonna check him out though. Yeah, well, you know, he's gotta. It's his job. As well as checking out Chloe's tail. So, are you gonna go get something else? Uh, yeah, we may have to have a little intermission real quick. All right, but look how nice this chain is. I'm so sad now. What do I do with this? I mean, you could just leave it, and then when you finish your first granny square, put your hook back in it and continue onward. Either take a couple out or add a couple. Like, I'm if going really to be able to find this one chain. <laughs> well, also... I'll never break the chain. I mean, as much as I hate to rip things out, like, it was a chain that you just made in about 30 seconds, so I wouldn't cry a river over it. Dun, dun, dun. Fail. All right. To be continued. Okay, well, we've gotten this, and Chloe um, appears to approve. <laughs> um, I think that we might start Are you going to check with Mooney? I thought he was... Oh, well, Mooney does have to check. He thinks it's all right. But he still stare at it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna. We've mentioned this Provence a couple times. 
I said it right this time. And um, I am trying to do a little summary thing with it. Uh, so since uh, my last plan failed, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. It's a good plan. It's always a good plan. Because yep. even when you think you know what's gonna happen, sometimes it doesn't happen. That's true. Yeah. I wonder if the shadow of Chloe. So I was I was telling earlier. I have to tell. I was telling Asia earlier. I have to tell you guys. <clears throat> I have a little like book light on that like hooks to my bed. And I put it on this morning, and Chloe was in it in such a way that her head was shining on the floor, which I love cat shadows. They're so cute. Oh, yes. But it was enormous, because she was right next to so She looked like this, like, three-foot-wide cat head. It was so funny. Oh, she, she was cosplaying as Mooney. She was very big, yes. She say, I am also big cats. Mm -hmm. I'm a big girl. Says, pay no attention to the cats behind the light. <laughs> yeah, she could terrify you. He saw that cat head coming at you. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. This is my transformation into Panther. <clears throat> how can I forget how much she loves cashmere? This might have not been the best choice for me. Well, it's been made now. <clears throat> we're both just going to be sitting here being like, ah. Uh, uh, the entire time, but that's okay because we have other things to talk about as well, like what maybe perhaps is going on in 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 store. I'm gonna tell you what's going on in the store in okay. a minute. Oh. I want to remind you guys first that we're giving away this very gorgeous set of Blakey interchangeable needles. Wow, Mooney, what do you think? You think is good. You think is pretty good, Chloe. Chloe, maybe we just block Chloe's butt with them. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Multi-purpose can use for Multi knitting purpose. or blocking a cat's butt or cat butt censorship. Can you imagine interchangeable cat butt blocker? That's what, that's what we're giving away. <laughs> <laughs> so the way you enter to win is you have to go back to episode twenty-four mm -hmm. and leave your guess about which episode. These little mini Mooney and mini Chloe cats appeared because they appeared to help us out with a demo pretty early on. Well, I think that's our sec, our our, our only hint. Yeah, pretty Since early on. Last, so you know. yeah, don't start it like the last episode. I mean, you can, you can, you, you can, can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, but yeah, <laughs> tell us which episode. Leave the comment on episode twenty four because we're gonna random number generate the winner from the correct comments yep and leave your comment before oh. wednesday march 27th is that right if it's wrong i'll put a corrected date on the wednesday. screen it's next it, it's the wednesday after this comes out yep because we want to we want to draw the winner before the next time we're talking about all this mm-hmm so yeah, make sure you leave your comment. You could win those likey interchangeable needles. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> yeah, so pretty, so useful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. <clears throat> did you want to say hi to Minnie Clo? Minnie Clo? She did seem like she was kind of having an interesting thought about the mini mm -hmm. babies. Minnie Moo. Oh, <laughs> God. Minnie she loves. is really liking to put her um, tail right in my mouth today. Mooney loves this mini Mooney so much. Wow, he yeah, he really does. He always just shoves his face into it so much. Ah! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> feisty, too feisty. He's got Ew. lots of hands. Now mini today. Mooney's face is wet. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Gross. Mooney drool on himself sometimes too. It's okay. Cloud, you are not so drooly. Just need to rub face. Yeah, she does like to rub her little face on it. Okay, so now you want to know what's going on in the store? Sure. We've got some new stuff this week. Of course, of course. We've got some new duo. Oh, Chloe, why don't you check this out now that Mooney left? Mm. Check it out. Not sure. Still is pretty so, sure she wants your cashmere. Yeah. I know you love cashmere. She loves cashmere. She really does. 
So I made more of this batch. This is batch 16 because it was sold out. This is pretty orangey, ready, fiery. Mm -hmm. And then this is a new batch, number 22. And this one's cool. It's kind of like goldenrod with some aqua and teal and mint and burgundy. Mm. It's cool. It's interesting. It is interesting. Yeah, it's a fun color combo. Yeah. Boop, boop. Oh, Chloe, is it right here? Certified Chloe boot. Yep. We also had a little batch of new Mad Balls. This is number 527. This is the berry batch, but with some like goldy hints. I feel like this batch is very regal. Don't I you? really like this batch. I couldn't, I can't like figure out what exactly it is. Like it's. It reminds you of something, but you can't figure out what. Yeah, but I, yeah, I really can't figure out what it is. I almost thought it was just like jewels, but I, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. It could be jewels though. I mean, rubies, topaz, amethyst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some, yeah, I just, I feel like there's something with that, with that yellow and that purple and it's on the tip of my tongue. So if it reminds you of anything, you know. Yeah, tell her what's in her brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> but be fast about it, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a new yarn we got in. This is Noro Compeito. That's how I'm saying it. Could be wrong, but I'm saying it phonetically so that maybe you have chance of spelling it. Okay. When you go to look on the website. <laughs> there we go. So this is really nice. It's a cotton, silk, a little bit of nylon blend. Mm -hmm. It's just like perfect for summery tops, summery shawls, summery scarves. Yeah. I like that blue one a good amount. Yeah, I like them both. They, they're, <laughs> there's trouble over here. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, they're just kind of, we looked it up. We looked up what this word might mean. <clears throat> and we found a similar word with an N instead of an M. So confietto. And it was like a candy. Mm -hmm. Which kind of made sense to me. Now I sort of see them as like little frothy, sherbery kind of candies. Yeah. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Kind of sweet. So yeah, this is our new Noro yarn. There's another new Noro yarn coming, but I don't know when. So this is the new one. For now. In front of the lovely baby girl. Chloe, you have to settle so that we can see how much yarn you can hold. It's true. We have, as we usually do, you know, we have a task for the floofs. They got to earn their treats somehow. <laughs> To hear just lick her lips when I said the word. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I said treats. Oh, uh, see, so she just did it again. <laughs> That's a great example of how Chloe does, in fact, speak English. Chloe, are you just waiting around for treats? <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? They're not here. You have to come over here. Come here, Chloe. Okay. Just be in charge for a few minutes. Well, whatever. So we also released a new pattern this week that we had given you a sneak peek of before. Mm -hmm. And this is available in a kit in many different colors. This <laughs> is the Focus Meditation Cushion. This is crocheted and felted. Oh. It's, it's really fun. Um, <laughs> Maybe we should just put this yarn on this and see how much it can hold since yeah. the cats are not agreeing with our plan today. Yes, Chloe, um... She's not having it. No, she is once again um, quite activated. I'm not your performing monkey. I'm in charge. Says actually I require treats before. Where's my deposit? Actually, this mad ball is a lot like this color. See? It's true, yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's five colorways in the kits, but there's also a special order option, so you can put together whatever color you want, because the options are endless. There's, I think there's like 30 colors of Malvinus, there's, I don't know, 18 million colors of carry-on, so <laughs> mm. yeah, I couldn't pair them all up for you, because that would be insanity and give you some uh, decision paralysis. 
Yeah, just, there is such a thing as too many options. <laughs> there, there is. There Unfortunately. Is. With yarn, it's a it's pretty high for me, but there can be too many. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is a really quick thing to crochet, and it's really fun. And even if you're not into, like, meditation, you could just use it as, like, a cushion to sit on, like, when you have people over and you're playing games or something and you need more space. But we could probably all use a little meditation right now anyway. You know, when, <laughs> when I was, especially when I was in college, being the insane crafter that I am, like, you know, you know, Asia, when the moment strikes you that you want to make something, it's kind of the only thing you can do, right? Y yeah. Yeah. And so even if I had, like, a test to study for, like, I would be like, oh... But I, I need to make this thing and get this out of my head. <laughs> it was very bad. Luckily, I did get through college, just so you know. But it, it wasn't for the crafting. Unfortunately, her degree isn't in yarn. <laughs> no, my degree is not in yarn. <laughs> but, yeah, so if you need a little focus, a little meditation cushion, if you're hoping to take it up, it might be a great way to be like, you know what? Maybe this pretty cushion would motivate me. Mm. You know, sometimes sitting on the floor, it doesn't seem motivating. But if you have this pretty cushion saying, come sit, meditate on me, maybe I'll give it a go. That's true. Yeah. So you can find kits. Asia will put the link. She's good like that. And now I'm going to reveal Chloe. <laughs> Pay no attention but to the Chloe behind the cushion. Can you hold that for me? Let's see how long she can hold it. Okay. I was actually hoping to see her. I want. I, I was actually hoping she would lie down and we could see how many skeins we could get on her before we got rejected. Mm -hmm. But she's she, she's she's, um, she's too activated today. She's a little activated. Did you today. let her nap too much today? Maybe. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's the new stuff for this week. That's fun. Fun, right? And today we are talking about fingering weight yarns. And though you may be sick of hearing it, I'm going to say again, I can't stand the number system, but apparently fingering weight yarns are number one, which does leave, then what is lace weight? Zero? Yeah, like I was going to say is maybe there is a zero. I don't think there is a zero. Okay. I mean, I guess I could be wrong. I'll look at them tomorrow. But anyway, it also means that two is even more nebulous than before, because I thought two was fingering weight and one was lace weight. Mm -hmm. But two is just like the skinny, skinny sport weights. I don't. It's just dumb. So fingering weight is yarn that like normally it's about 400 ish yards per 100 grams if you knit it at gauge you're going to be using like a size two or three needle and getting maybe seven seven and a half stitches to the inch fingering weight is what you almost always use for socks mm -hmm. but not all fingering weight is sock yarn and the difference is do you want to know yes i have some examples uh, i'm so <laughs> surprised i know so these are three of our hand-dyed yarns. This is Pagoda. This is a merino bamboo blend. This is Soleil Light. This is a merino with a little bit of nylon. Ooh. And this is Foot Foot, which is also a superwash merino with a little bit of nylon. So you might say, well, couldn't you use both of these for sock yarns? Because they have some nylon, because a lot of times sock yarns have nylon. But this is a single ply, so... The other thing you want to look for in a good sock yarn is that it has like a nice tight twist. Like, do you see? Can you see Asia? Like, yeah. Yeah, it's really tightly twisted. And this is just a single ply yarn. So it's not going to like really, really wear that well under the brute force of feet. Like, you know, feet. You need some good wearing yarn. So you want to go with something that has some nylon, has a really tight twist. Mm -hmm. Definitely makes sense. Yeah, so that's, that's usually the difference. And sometimes there's wiggle room on one of those things. Like, some people don't like nylon in their sock yarn, although those people are few and far between, I found. And then 
there are some great sock yarns that are single ply and I don't know what magic they do to make that happen but like uh you guys might know Zauber balls which we have in the store those Z are what about Zauber balls Zauber balls Zauber balls um they're like those gradient sock yarns and those are single ply um and they wear really well I don't know how so yeah, there's there's some wiggle room, but mostly if you're looking for a sock yarn, you want a nice tight twist and some nylon and washability, unless you're a glutton for punishment and want to hand wash all your socks. Hmm. Yeah. So those are three of our fingering weights. The other difference between these, I would say, is like fiber content. Like the Pagoda has the bamboo, so it has a really nice drape. It's really nice for shawls and like lacy sweaters. Mm. Yeah, I could see how that might not be great for socks. Yeah, bamboo doesn't have a ton of memory. It just sort of, like, you stretch it and it just is like, great, here I am. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that would um, make my my socks pretty unbearable pretty fast. Yeah. So, yeah. definitely. Foot Foot actually is a fantastic sock yarn, but we also brought in a new sock yarn recently, which is Kraken, but made into a sock yarn, and... I don't know, man. It's really nice, too. It's going to give it a real run for its money, which one I like more. It'll probably depend on how they kind of die up. Mm. And this Soleil Light, this one is a single ply, so it blooms a lot, which means it sort of, like, expands into the stitch and fills it up a little bit. And it has a shocking amount of body. Like, you can knit it on your two or three. Mm -hmm. But I have knit this in a shawl on a seven, and I'm a pretty loose knitter, and it had some body. It was not super limp. That's nice. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. And then I have some other fingering weights. Because <laughs> why bring home three yarns when you can bring home uh, six yarns? Why? Why? I have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chloe's finally sitting. Oh, good. Yes, we can start to balance things on Chloe. Yes. So this is another sick yarn. So <laughs> this is it's that's not such a sick yarn, it's, it's bro. It's not a sick yarn. It's a sock yarn. This is um, KFI Indulgence Organic. Sock. Wow, that didn't last long, huh? I know, and only one skein. Chloe, you're usually better at this. Chloe is usually very good at holding things. Yeah, although not as good as our former cat Pumpkin. You could put so much stuff on that cat while he was asleep. Yeah, that is true. You could almost completely hide him under yarn, and he would just stay asleep and be perfectly yes. happy. Where the only, pretty much the only thing you can put on Mooney is a blanket. Do you think, though, because Mooney sleeps really deeply, have you ever tried to stuff on my cat him? Um, when he's, like, really dead asleep? He is not that deep of a sleeper. Really? I feel like he's a deeper sleeper than Chloe. Yeah, but Chloe is more amenable. That's true. He's like, is something touching me? I am awake now. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know. Chloe, you gotta relax again. She may so need. That I can she may need a uh, She might. She may need a redemption shot, but we'll see if she lies down again. Yeah, she might. I guess this wasn't the task for them today. But this is a really nice stripey sock yarn. It's a. It's a pretty good price too. I feel like it's only like sixteen bucks or something. Mm. And most sock yarn comes in hundred gram balls, which means you can make two socks out of them. If they're little fifty gram balls, you'll need two for two socks. But most of them come like this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. I, she's re she's ready for the end where they get things they like. As she says, "Look, I balanced something." And now I deserve reward, please. <laughs> I did my job. Let's move on, human. Yes. And then I brought home Juniper Moon Farm Harriet Fine. I've showed you guys this yarn before because it's just one of my all-time favorites. It's so soft and yummy. and It also has a little bit of nylon for strength, but it's hand-washed, so unless you're a glutton for punishment, I wouldn't make socks out of it. Mm. Alpaca also doesn't have super great memory, so... Hmm. But this is so nice for, like, drapey sweaters, all kinds of shawls, scarves. I mean, it's so yummy. And look at that color. Yeah, that that <laughs> is, like, really, 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 really pretty. I really like that. I try to bring home palettes that Asia will like. <laughs> she learned after she brought, like, so much gray, and I was like, that's so nice. <laughs> I really that's like great. That. I love it. Was, uh, super, <laughs> super, Mom. Super. That's amazing. I'm so invested. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
And this last one is um, Queensland Katmandu Fingering. This is a relatively new yarn in the store. I love this yarn. I actually fell in love with the DK version of this yarn like years ago, which I don't currently have for boring, stupid reasons that I'm not going to tell you. But this fingering weight is so nice. It's so like, it's a wool silk blend, but it's just like the perfect balance. So it has like a lot of memory. It has a lot of body. Like it's, even though it has the silk to make it softer, it has like really nice structural integrity. So you could do a cabled sweater or a cabled hat. Oh, or a, wow. Yeah, it's so nice. And the colors are pretty rich and deep, which I love. Yeah, they are pretty rich. I remember seeing that stuff in the store and that one. Clearly, is yeah. very nice and vibrant, deep purple. Oh, I forgot. It also has 5% cashmere. Ah, another <laughs> one of Chloe's favorites, I presume. Yes, indeed. Any amount. So, yeah, very, I think, I don't know, of all the gauges we've done, I feel like the fingering is sort of the deepest in, like, variety. Like, you know, you really wouldn't use some of these for certain things, and you really would use, you know what I mean? Like... A lot of the yarn is like, it's yarn, use it for anything. Yeah. But these have some more specific uses, I feel like. Hmm. Yeah. Do you, have you used this super skinny yarn yet, Asia? Um, I made one of my first, the granny square stuff. Oh, the little moon star thing? Yeah. Um, and I made like another flower at some point, which was like, eh. Mm. So, um, those were pretty skinny. But since we haven't, we weren't like talking about that too, I had no real good gauge for it so I'm not sure if they actually qualified mm. um but um I mean this one is pretty skinny but this one we talked about a while ago this one isn't even remotely as skinny as that one so yeah <laughs> but you're moving on down uh yeah I'm trying I'm trying <laughs> you're like the opposite of the Jeffersons you're moving on down <laughs> yeah maybe you're like the ways move on no Ease on down. Yeah. Ease on down. Ease on down. That is what I'm doing. I am easing down. That's right. <laughs> the road. Very easing. Do you want to see this, Chloe? You keep looking at it. Oh, you're not looking at it. You're looking at me. So, yeah, those are fingering weights. And, you know, the number system calls them ones, and I call them fingering weights. Very nice. <laughs> so, so. There, there you go. Fingering weight is actually one of my very favorite gauges. Hmm. Not for sweaters, just because... I don't have enough takes patience a lot. Yeah. to, you know, knit miles of stockinette usually, but so good for shawls and scarves and hats and just yummy. They're just yummy. Yeah. Yeah. And like, if you don't, if you're knitting a shawl, you're not going to knit it on a two or three. You're going to knit it on like a four to six, which, mm. you know, makes it move faster and it's just yummy on your needles. Yeah, especially... <laughs> With the fibers. I think Chloe is getting triggered by me saying yummy because she also wants to be saying oh, yummy. Oh, yes. She says, uh, usually you say yummy in regards to <laughs> treats, which I would like these. I actually don't, Chloe, because your treats are not yummy. They're gross. <laughs> it's not like it's chocolate. You know, it's all about perspective. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So we have to figure out before we let loose the cat chaos what these yarns would say. Oh, okay. So we put it on our list this time, guys. Could I have your funky color of duo, perhaps? This one, yeah. Okay. Yes. I have this mad ball, and I know what I know what she would say. Mm-hmm. Off with her head! Oh. It's very regal. Okay. I know it's not super queen of hearts, but it's very regal. Mm-hmm. It's quite queen, queenie. Yeah. Queenie. Yeah. Um, I think this one is saying, I got washed up on the shore. Oh. Because... It's just giving me very, like, birchwood kind of... Driftwood? Driftwood, like, with little seaweed, algae yeah, stuff, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, there is something seaside-y about it. Yeah, it's very... <laughs> it's quite, like, it's just giving me, like, very driftwood. Like, I feel like you'd see a lot of these colors in, like, a little beach house, you know? <laughs> but, yeah. Aren't you guys glad that we just bring a full eclipse every time. We yeah. have a moony and an eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe eclipse. Yeah. That's a good one, Asia. Mm. I didn't think you would choose that one. 
I thought of it, and then I was like, and I was like, save it, save it, save it in brain, <laughs> save it. Don't say it, don't say it. Yep. Well, Asia, it might be that time. Oh, dear. The time of the, chaos. <laughs> the time when we try to not get our fingers bitten. I was going to say, oh, I will actually, I was going to say where we are destined to get our fingers bitten. Um, by little gremlins. <laughs> Imagine Hello, that gremlins. Mooney appeared again. Can that is so surprising. Are you almost done with your row so I can give yeah. you some? You guys are going to have to hey. speed along. Oh, goodness. It's already happening. The chaos has already ensued. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I can tell you. Somebody even asked me today, up. like, how how we get our cats to hang out with us during the whole podcast. And I said, treats. And she said her cats would never go for that. Um, yeah, I mean, they're pretty, like, motivated cats. Like, you know, like, we can also bring out the catnip, and they're pretty excited. Yeah. It's just, you know, whether I c we can wrangle them enough to, um... <laughs> I... One more stitch! Hurry up! How's it going? How's She's it going not now? giving them to me until you finish that row. <laughs> She's like, God dang! Good, good check over here. Woohoo! No, no, no! We're <laughs> good, we're good, we're good! We're done, we're done, we're done! We're good! You know? Yeah. Our We're guests, good. though, also, they okay. do like to be where we are. Yes, they do. Especially Mooney. Um, especially, yeah. I would say Chloe, too. She doesn't always do much, but she likes to be in the room where we're at. Yes, she does. She, like, the other day we were um, doing, you know, our meeting in, in my room, and, oh gosh, um, and she came in and she was just like, why have we, why have we been in here for so long? I'm not, I'm not getting it. And she just kept walking around. And, like, not really, like, checking things out and then not, you know, understanding. Oh. Oh. Well. He just lost. Oh! <laughs> you like when his butt, too? He's, he says, I can also show off. <laughs> Don't know where he's going. Oh. Overboard. Overboard. It's like, it back up, it's like corn, it's like cornhole, but for cats. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you thinking you were going to try to teach him how to catch it in the air? Uh, yes, but you know, he's not, um, he's only okay. Well, I tricks. know, I mean, um, he's just learning still. Yes, he is, he is just a, a young, a young lad. And you know what? I don't know if I told the podcast. He actually did catch it in his mouth did he? once. Yes, wow. he did. He caught it in his mouth once. And then did he drop it? Um, <laughs> no, no. He he ate it in he his mouth. It? There's like five up here. I don't know what he's I, gonna I, try to I eat think the I yarn now. Too many up this time. Um, yeah, I think you did too. Say bye to everybody. Mooney, look. Oh, oh yep. Mooney says bye to right. you. All right. All right. Bye, bye you guys. Bye. bye. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from us. And leave a comment on last episode. For our giveaway. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Have a good bye. week, guys. Bye. bye.